Okay, so I'm just going to save here, return um, the item to the notice board, and then I'll find the last item, which is Lee Jordan's tarantula. You know what? Uh, how about we adopt the, the tarantula and then just say it's ours and then never give it to Lee <laughs> Jordan again? <laughs> yeah, we, we could do that, Tim, but I'm not sure how long that would work for because Lee Jordan would probably beat us up. <laughs> <laughs> My question is, is it actually a tarantula that can be found in the muggle world, or is it a magical tarantula like Hagrid's I think pet? it's just any old random tarantula you can find anywhere else. Yeah, like Hermione's cat, Ron's rat, or even the... Or even the, uh... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, anyway, um... Yeah. So, Lee Jordan's giant tarantula. Property of Lee Jordan. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, duh. Okay. So probably wandering <laughs> around the library areas. If found, please return to the notice. Wait, I have to go back to the library again? Yes. Hmm. Dude, that sucks. All right, hopefully I can get the tarantula without stepping on it. I actually want to actually um, own my own tarantula, or adopt a tarantula one time, or one day. <laughs> Thing is, is that I'm in a house where pretty much everyone's afraid of spiders, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same here. Yeah, so, okay, so, uh, Honoria Notcom founded the Society for the Reformation of Hags. Okay. <laughs> Just trying to read and it because it's small words. Yeah. There's actually a glitch in the PS2 version that allows you to get, like, infinite house points. And it's on the Incendio spell challenge when you complete it. I've never actually put a video up showing how you do it. I should. Is really quite funny. You could get like thousands of house points from just saving and quitting the same point over and over again. Okay. Okay, so according to this site, we can find um, the arachnid or the tarantula near the Wigan Whale Potion Cauldron. Yeah, there was a Wigan Whale Potion Cauldron there, right? Yeah, there was, yeah. It was up where the. Um, it was up where the incendio button thingy was, whatever it was, the incendio brazier thing. Yeah. Yeah, I really actually have to put a video up saying how to get the infinite house points glitch of Chamber of Secrets. Okay, so we, kind of we don't have anything in our potion vials, but I want to not put anything in our potion vials just because I want to show the cutscene of what happens if you lose to fight in the Basilisk, because you actually get an interesting cutscene if you lose to Tom Riddle. <laughs> I just want to show uh, people that, and then once I show that cutscene, then I'll fight the Basilisk for sure. You know, I just want to show yeah. as much as I can in a Let's Play. Yeah, yeah, you want to show like all the fails and all the rights, and what happens if you do something wrong. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. So when I was doing like my Super Mario 64 Let's Play, my final part is when I got my 120th star after getting the eight red coins in, in uh, the last level. Uh, wrong one. And um, at the same time, I versed Bowser and then went to see Yoshi, so yeah. Okay, so I won't get <laughs> uh, the way whale potion, so... Oh, here's the tarantula. Yeah, it is. Why is it hopping around? Like, a, like as if it's an item. I mean, if you think about it, <laughs> Devil's Toad was actually a lost and found item, and it was hopping around like a chocolate frog. So why isn't this moving <laughs> around like a spider in the forest? Yeah, exactly. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, well. Oh, well. Well, we got Lee Jordan's giant tarantula, and it's not even that huge. Okay, well, yeah, maybe for tiny. maybe for us having a tarantula, it probably would. Yeah. Yeah, so I think we're done with this library, and I still can't really figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do with that owl treat. I'll probably look it up on um, the internet to actually see if there's anything that you can, that you have to like use that owl treat for. If there's nothing, then I guess it's a collectible item. It's just there for the sake of convenience. Yeah. And I think the or may. Or maybe they put that there, and then whatever it was for was ended up removed, and then they've never removed the actual idol treat itself. Yeah, true. I mean, one example was um, the uh, stop and swap items from Banjo Kazooie. It was like the eggs and the key. All right. Well, I've never played Banjo Kazooie, so. Well, to be honest, I'm actually it. new to Banjo Kazooie because it was like 
less than a year ago I actually got the two games because uh, yeah, really? it was less than a year ago I got the two games for the Nintendo 64. And while I haven't played the uh, the first one in a long time, but I haven't beat the boss yet, all I know is that the stop and swap items, you can actually get them, but there's no point. Because yeah. it was going to be used for the um for the third game on the on the GameCube, but until Rare switched from Nintendo to Microsoft, um it just screwed everything up. All right. All right. So there's oh, no wow. more items to find. So we found all lost and found items. Oh wait, we don't get any house points for that. That's unfair. Yeah, we actually do earn yeah. house points and one wizard card. So, so oh, right. Harry, did, uh, Harry doesn't actually the say the name. Symbol. Okay, so plays bagpipes with the popular wizarding band, the Weird Sisters. Bagpipes are the most annoying instruments ever, but at least they give off a good hey. sound. <laughs> Hey, that, I come from Scotland where bagpipes are common. <laughs> bagpipes rule not. They suck. And I'm saying that about my own country. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know. It's just some. I don't care. It's just if you stand near them, it really... Yeah. Like... Bellow. Loud in your yeah, ears. Yeah, it's really loud in your ears. But... But they actually do give off a good, um... Like a good uh, good theme and stuff, you know. Yeah, like it definitely works for like you know as if you were playing it for like some sort of um, uh, scout or or some yeah. sort of anniversary for like uh, World War or whatever. I don't know, whatever it's used for. Yeah, whatever it's used for. Okay, so is there anything that I can do before nighttime? That you can think of? Um, not really, except to fill up potion vials. Um, or just try to get caught by prefix. Yeah, so here's actually the Quidditch Cup right here. So, yeah. And we keep Hagrid's key after after facing off against a bunch of spiders. And then an owl tree, which is utterly useless. <laughs> but I don't remember what better, this... I've... This... Or this actually wait I think these slots were actually used for Ginny's lost items yeah they were and they, they're just left empty yeah you might definitely want to put a, ba a charger in because you're on reserve battery power now. all right so I'll probably end my session pretty quick so I'm just gonna see I'm wait how many double cards do I have I know I think I have a double card of Andron's the or that Andron's the invisible okay it's gonna take a while, so let's see which one actually asks for that. I'll give you this one. Number seventy-five. Okay. Bonham for number thirteen, Andros the Invincible. Okay. Let's. Yeah. So Harry only swaps when you have double. <laughs> That's unlike the PS2 version where he just swaps if the cards are there. Mongo so Bonham, Mongo sucks. Bonham, famous wizard healer. Founded Saint Mongo's Hospital for Magical Ailments and Injuries. Okay, how many beans do we have? Two. We have two beans. Still two. Oh wait, I'm <laughs> running on low reserve battery power, so I'll end it very soon. I'm just going to go to a special floor, not really that special, where I get a lot of beans. <laughs> I don't know, this is just the one place I go just to get a lot of beans. Because it spams beans a bit much. Yeah, you can at least get like 30 in this room every time you enter in it or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so since I'm going to be ending my session soon, and this is probably the last part, you know, dividing the session, this is probably the last part, be sure to check out um, his channel. I don't know how to say the second part of the name. I just know how to say super. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> you can check uh, the link out in the description, or I'll probably post an annotation at the end of this video. But first, I'm going to collect a bunch of beans. And as much as I would like to actually get the flying and the gnome tossing done and over with, I'm not going to do it um, during um, this session. 
Yeah, just with the speed up issue, I don't want to spend too long actually sinking. I mean, I gotta figure out how to handle the speed up issue, like, how to not have that happen while I'm doing co-commentary. Um, it might be because you don't have enough uh, memory installed in the, the computer you're using. You might want to put more in. Like RAM sticks. If that makes sense. You might want to put more of those in. Uh, how much memory does your computer currently have? Uh, seven percent. So I'm gonna have to, you know, I'm just gonna collect these last few beans and then just get to a save point and end the session. Otherwise, your session will be deleted. All right. Let's just get out of here. If I yeah. So fifty-two. It's weird how all green beans are the disgusting ones, and any other color is pretty much the good ones. Yeah. Maybe that is just the way it is. Yeah. Usually I remember to bring my charger down to actually charge my computer for every time I do a session, but this time I forgot. And also I had my uh, this same computer on the road. So, yeah. Because uh, I'm right. actually writing a script uh, to uh, a show that, uh, that I'm making. And I have mentioned the show in uh, a right. previous video where my roommate's friends get involved, so yeah. Anyway, um, so this is going to be the end of this session, so thank you for being my second co-commentator. That's okay. I had to get up early to do it, but... No that mind. actually sounded like an apology. But yeah, anyway... No, 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 I don't mind getting up early to do yeah, things he like did, this. Yeah, he did, yeah, currently around his time is like 8.41, something like that. Yeah, it's about 8.41. Yeah, and it's like 1.41 yeah. here, so yeah... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is Yeah, pretty, it uh, really sucks with the time really. difference because it gets really hard to actually find a perfect time for like co commentary when it's when you're co commentating with international yeah. people. I mean with Clone Dude Five we're both on the same timeline so it's easier for us, but yeah. Yeah, I have to think of a way that I could possibly do co commentary without the speed up problem happening. Any suggestions you can oh, suggest well. suggestions you can think of? Um well, the only thing I could check out is check how much system memory is installed in the computer, like the amount of RAM that's installed and add more if you need hmm. to. Because usually about four gigabyte, uh, 3 gigabytes or more is usually better. Hmm. The only suggestion I can think is that I do Skype on, like I maybe have two different computers, two different laptops. Yeah, and run Skype on that. Yeah, other run, computer, uh, that like work. record the video game footage and, uh, no wait, okay, the only problem with that is how I would be able to hear the game audio and my co-commentator's audio, so... Yeah, that would work. Yeah, so. unless of course I have headphones, like, like, no, I have, uh, yeah, headphones under, like, um, a headset. Uh, that would be too much of a pain. Yeah, that, that would just be a pain. Yeah, that would be, that would actually be a pain, so... <clears throat> yeah, okay, well... I'll eventually figure it out because I'm gonna have Clone Dude Five for like uh, Luigi's Mansion for the finale on LP or Zone. So I have four percent battery yeah, now, exactly. and I'm mumbling. So yeah, I'm gonna end this session. So we won the um, cup against um, Slytherin, <coughs> and we did some side quests. So thanks for uh, co-commentating, and be sure to check out his channel. And no I'll have the annotation just somewhere in the corner, probably the bottom right, since there's. Okay, never mind. But anyway, um... Ah, oh, sorry. Dude. <laughs> this is how I'm always like when I end a session. Anyway, thanks for <laughs> watching, and, um... I'm gonna end my commentary here. Goodbye. See you later, all.